Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Island Vibe Cooking with me, Rose. Today we are making breakfast, okay? I know Valentine's Day is around the corner. A lot of you guys probably making breakfast in bed for your boo. So today I am going to show you guys how to make the whole shebang. I am making breakfast potatoes, scrambled egg, bacon, mimosas, all of it, pancakes. So let's begin. I have about five small red potatoes here. You can use rosette potatoes for this recipe. I am going to cut them into small cubes. So this is how I cut them. Once you have them cutting flat like this, you want to put them right on top of each other so you can cut them quick and easy. I'm going like this to a line. Now I am cutting them small because I want them to cook fast. So dice them up like this. They're gonna come out beautiful once they're done cooking. So you should have something like this. We're all done with the potatoes. I am going to place them in here to give them a rinse because I do wanna rinse the starch off before I start cooking these. They'll be more pleasant to eat. So we're going to give it a nice rinse. Now I'm going to pour them back on here. As you can see, I have a napkin on there just to receive all the water, to catch all the water, because we want these potatoes to be nice and crispy on the outside, of course, and the inside is nice and fluffy. So I'm going to add another napkin right on top, pat it like this just to soak all of the water, all of the moisture from the potatoes. Now, once they're nice and dry, we're ready to cook them. I want to cook the potatoes in the bacon fat, so I'm going to cook my bacon first. We're going to place the bacon to a cold skillet, not a hot skillet, okay, a cold skillet so you don't burn yourself. After you place your bacon in there, you can turn on your stove. I'm using hickory smoked bacon. Place that in here. And now I have one more that I'm going to place in. We can turn on the stove. Time to flip our bacon. They looking good. Me personally, I like my bacon extra crispy, but one thing I learned, cooking bacon, once they're done cooking, you place them somewhere, they get crispier. I don't know if it's me, but they become more crispy than they were before. I'm gonna flip that over, and now I'm waiting for the other side to get nice and crispy so I can take them out. Time to take the bacon out. They're looking nice and crispy. I'm going to set that aside. I am also going to be using some of that bacon in the potatoes as well. Now I'm going to be cooking my sausage because I am adding sausage to it. This is breakfast sausage that we're cooking right now. This is going into the potatoes. It's time to take the sausage out. It's smelling so good right now. So try to take the sausage out just like this. And I'm going to set that aside. We will add the sausage back later after the potatoes are done cooking. So now I am going to drizzle a little tiny bit of olive oil in here. Now this is already nice and hot. I am going to place my potatoes right in. Pour it in there. Just like that. Perfect. Now, we will season these, but not just yet, okay? You want to make sure the potatoes are nice and flat. Press it down like you see I'm doing right now and let them get nice and crispy. Time to flip our potatoes over. As you can see, 
nice and crispy on one side. We're just going to toss it over. As soon as you flip your potatoes over, you're going to add in some chopped onions. Add that in. And then now is the perfect time for you to season it. I have some seasoning here that I'm going to add. It's Cajun seasoning is going to give it a little kick or if you have all purpose seasoning, you can add that in. I'm using paprika, dry parsley, ground black pepper with some onion and garlic powder. Now, if you have real garlic, you can add that in. But now I'm going to season it. But before I do, I like to mix it. And then we're going to season very lightly because the bacon has salt, the sausage has salt, so be careful. Give it a mix. Now this will be the best breakfast potatoes you ever had. It's so tasty. I make it all the time for my kids. They love it. I love how crispy it is on the outside and the inside is nice and fluffy. So I'm going to allow it to cook through before I add the bacon and the sausage. If your potatoes are bigger than mine, you might have to cover it to let the steam cook it. Mine, they're already nice and cooked through. So now I'm going to add in my sausage and I chopped up the bacon as well that I'm going to add in. And some of that bacon is going in there as well. And I'm going to give that a mix. And basically it is ready. Nice, crispy, delicious breakfast potatoes. I'm going to add that right into my bowl. Potatoes looking amazing. It's smelling amazing up in here. I'm going to set that aside for now. We're getting ready to make the eggs. I am making a fluffy scrambled egg. So I am going to crack four eggs in here. Now I'm going to show you guys one of the things that I like to do when it comes to making scrambled egg. I am not going to season it yet. Now I'm going to pour in about two tablespoons of milk. Give that a mix just like that. Whisk it up. And now turn on the stove. I'm going to add in my olive oil. We don't want the egg to stick, so add a good amount. As soon as this started to get hot, don't let it get extremely hot. As soon as you feel the heat, you're going to pour that in. Then you are going to bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, just like that. You just keep bringing the egg right in the middle. Just like that. That's how. Now I'm going to season with salt and pepper at this point. A little bit more. And there you go. And I like it not to be overcooked. I like it scrambled and not fried. So at this point, it is ready. And we're going to pour that right into a plate, just like that. Nice, delicious scrambled egg. When we come back, I'm going to show you guys how to make these delicious cinnamon roll pancakes. Stay tuned. Scene one, two, three, take one. I thought we'd be on the same page about this, and we're not. How do I know the way I'm gonna respond to it? I want you to. Get the vaccine, because I want you to be safe. What if you end up in the hospital? That's what I'm scared of. If you was to die, man, that 
literally kill me, man. They hug you? Yeah. <laughs> they made you feel that way, bro? I probably do. I love you too. This one's for the real ballers and shot callers, the sisterhood of women in tech. They're discovering cures, building apps and programming the blockchain. They're CEOs, worldwide hustlers who can make it rain. They're tearing down the old boys club and seeing big gains. Because when women in tech come together, you know they make that change. Freedom. It's at the core of who we are. The freedom to live without fear, to jog where we please, to wear a hoodie. The freedom to breathe. Before we celebrate the freedom most Americans have, we must fight for the freedom all Americans deserve. Because all lives can't matter until black lives matter. What's a good breakfast without pancakes? I am going to be making cinnamon roll pancakes. I have cinnamon, butter, sugar here so we can make our cinnamon roll pancakes. Also, I have a icing bag here as well. So let's get that going. Make sure the butter is room temperature. Now I'm going to mash my butter once it's nice and mix like that, I am going to add sugar, brown sugar and oh, this is too small, but that's okay. I have some cinnamon powder we're going to add in and then give that a quick mix. Once I have that nice and mixed, it should give you a consistency, like a paste. I'm going to transfer it to my piping bag. Once I'm ready, to use it, I can cut the tip at the bottom. Now I have it right in the piping bag. Once I'm ready, I'm going to cut the tip and we should be able to use it. To make the pancake, I'm using my favorite pancake mix. I am going to pour in some olive oil, one egg, pour that in, and I have some whole milk I'm going to pour in and give it a whisk. And I like my pancakes nice and fluffy, so I didn't add too much of that milk in there. Once you have that nice and mixed together, we are ready to make our cinnamon roll pancakes. To make the pancakes, I'm going to add some butter to my cast iron. Once that is nice and melted, I'm going to Add one scoop of that pancake batter. Going to pour that right in. Make sure it's nice. Now I am going to add my, ooh, add my cinnamon roll icing in there. I'm going like this. This is going to be so good. Perfect. Now we're going to let that cook, then we can flip it over. How are we gonna know it's ready? Once the crust is started to look golden brownish, it's time to flip it over. We're going to flip it over. It looks good, I like the color. It's nice and golden brown and fluffy. Let me tell you, it smells exactly like a cinnamon roll and they're nice and fluffy too. Time to take it out. Oh my gosh, take it out. Ooh, 
That is beautiful. <laughs> that is uh, so nice. I'm going to pour that right in the middle. And now the thicker the batter is, the fluffier it'll be. So now I'm going to grab my icing and I'm going to add the icing right in. Perfect. I'm going to flip it over now. Woo, perfect. All right, time to take this one out. It's looking beautiful. Perfect. Ooh, they smell so good, too good. I'm going to continue making the rest of the pancakes. Once I'm done completely, I'll show you guys how to make the icing. All right guys, the pancakes are nice and done and they looking absolutely delicious. I don't think I'm making pancakes any other way except this way. It looks good. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how to make the icing for it. Of course, you can use regular syrup for this, but this is how you eat cinnamon roll pancakes. So I have some powdered sugar here, a little bit of milk. I'm not going to add too much because I don't want it to be too runny. I want it to be just a thick consistency for it to kind of drip on top of the pancakes, not too runny. If you want to add some vanilla extract in here, you can. I don't think I need any, so this is perfect. I'm going to give that a mix, make sure it's nicely combined. And there you have it. This is the consistency we're looking for. Now I'm going to drizzle that all over my pancakes. All right, I'm going to drizzle that on top. Absolutely beautiful. There you go. Perfect. Just a little bit more, a little bit more. Now it's my favorite part. We're making mimosa, okay? So I'm going to open my champagne. I always get kind of like scared opening these because <laughs> it's kind of like scary, but let's do it. We can do it. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Okay, let's pour it. Now, I don't know how you like your mimosas, but I do like mine with a lot of champagne, okay? Some people do half and half, but it's up to you. Pour some of that in there. Maybe a little bit more. A little tiny bit more. All right, perfect. Now I'm going to add uh, some strawberry on top just to garnish. Ooh. Just to garnish, there you go. <laughs> it's a lot of food here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to try all of them, but one thing that I really wanna try is the cinnamon roll pancakes. They look so good. So I'm gonna give that a try. They look too good, okay? <laughs> Let me give that a try. Mmm. This looks, this tastes so good. It's literally like a cinnamon roll. The flavor, so spot on, so good. Mm. This is really, really good. I hope you guys try this out, especially for someone special this Valentine's Day. So good, you cannot not make this. It's bomb. Mm. Try this one. Mm, so good. Everything just tastes so good. I know some of you guys will appreciate this recipe because Valentine's Day is around the corner or just a regular day. You can make it for the family. <laughs> it's very fancy. It's not a lot, 
but it's a lot at the same time. Up next, we have a bonus recipe. I'm going to show you guys how to make the most flavorful jerk shrimp loaded baked potatoes. Stay tuned. How you been liking it, Dustin? I love it here. I love sparring with you. I love talking trash with Claudia. T-G-I-F. What y'all drinking on? Buttery Chardonnay, my go-to when it comes to spilling this tea. 1942, baby. It's been a celebration all week. Every weekday. Yeah. Are you going to have any left? How about the big bottles, Al? <laughs> <laughs> How big is it? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's not be sexually harassing our co-hosts this early in the show. I'm not saying we won't. It just won't be this early. <laughs> on Fox Soul. When I got the opportunity to get her, there wasn't no choice. I told myself, I'm going to take custody of my daughter. It's my baby. That's what we're supposed to do as men. Take care of our home, build a foundation, you know what I'm saying? Love, our money, she's my purpose. I'm here to walk with her, hold her hand until she can walk alone. Ain't nothing like being a father in this world. My mother was always very familiar with her neighborhood, but one day she stopped at the stop sign for much longer than usual and uh, she didn't know whether she should go forward or, or turn and she wasn't even really sure where she was at. It was very unsettling for her. I felt so much better after my son told me, Mom, I don't want you to worry or be afraid. I'll be there for you and we'll figure it out. to show you guys how to make this bomb loaded baked potato recipe not any type of potato recipe today we're making jerk shrimp loaded baked potato recipe this recipe is so flavorful it has the perfect amount of kick from the jerk seasoning you're going to love it i'll be using two potatoes by the way before you even begin be sure to scrub and wash your potatoes then you're going to take a fork and poke some holes on the potatoes to help the air circulate while the potato is baking next i'm going to drizzle some olive oil on the potato rub that in then i am going to sprinkle some sea salt on the potato Grab yourself some foil, wrap it up and place it in the oven. I baked mine for one hour and 15 minutes. However, if yours is bigger than mine, it might take a little bit longer. Okay, moving on to the shrimp. Yes, sir. We are going to drizzle some olive oil, mix that in just like so. Then we're going to add all these seasoning on there. I'm using lemon pepper, Cajun seasoning, onion, garlic powder. And also we're using this jerk seasoning. It's hot and spicy. It is spicy, pretty spicy. If you never tried jerk anything, try this recipe. I love me a good old jerk chicken, especially when it's grilled. So this is a must try recipe for me and for you. Okay, mix that up together and set aside. Now to a medium high heat skillet, you're going to drizzle some olive oil, add your shrimp in there. Now you're going to cook the shrimp for about two minutes. So cook that for two minutes per side, so four minutes in total, then remove, set aside. To the same skillet, you're going to add your bell peppers, onions, and some minced garlic. You're going to cook that until they're nice and soft.
Next, we're going to add our heavy cream. Also, I am going to season this a little bit. I'm adding some Cajun seasoning because I needed some more flavor, you know? And then you are going to add some cheese. I'm using Colby Jack cheese. You can use cheddar cheese. This is about a few minutes later. It's nice and thick and ready. Remove that, set aside, grab your potatoes. They're nice and hot. And then you are going to Cut the top layer of your potato like I'm doing right now. And don't throw these away, okay? You can use them. And then scoop out the potato flesh. You're going to place that into a bowl. Once you're done, you're looking at something like this, okay? Now, you are going to add a little bit of melted butter to your potatoes. I mean, who doesn't like buttery potatoes? I am also going to add some sour cream, a little bit of lemon pepper, okay? Gotta season it. And also I'm adding a little bit of the shrimp. I cut up the shrimp and add it to the potatoes and then I am also going to add some of that sauce that creamy sauce that I made I'm going to add that in there with some cheese mix that up together mm, looking good and then we are going to stuff our potato shell okay Now, once you're done, you're going to add some of that creamy sauce on top. Then you're going to top it off with the shrimp, the jerk shrimp. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is about to be so good. I'm telling you. Okay? Make sure you add the shrimp all over the potato. And then guess what you're going to do? You're going to add some cheese. Lots and lots of cheese. Well, there's not a lot of space, but try your best because we want a cheesy potato okay and I'm going to add some more of that cheese sauce yes and this is the second one basically I'm gonna let you guys watch because it's easier to watch than me talking Now I'm going to add some fresh parsley on top and then place it in the oven. I'm going to bake this for another 10 minutes and you guys, this is the result. Let's try it. I've been waiting for this since I was cooking it. So let's give it a try. We gotta get a shrimp in there. Oof, that looks good. Give it a bite. Mmm. So good. You can find all these amazing recipes on my Facebook page. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Island Vibe Cooking, YouTube Island Vibe Cooking. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next recipe. Bye guys.